Hi there, good gender. So let's take a look at your new set of essays. This is about uh, online communication and how it's more common than face-to-face -face meetings nowadays. Let's see what you wrote about this topic. Okay, this should have an S on it. So experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated that many offices are now follow up with emails instead of in-person meetings. I strongly agree with this statement, and this essay will discuss both sides using examples of UK government and the Oxford University to demonstrate point and proof argument. Okay, so a couple of problems with this uh, agenda. Um, let's see. First of all, let's look at the topic again, okay? It's saying that this type of communication, online communication, is now more common than face to face meetings, okay? They're not asking you if you agree with that or not. They are simply telling you that this is the situation, this is what's happening. But what they are asking you about is if the advantages of this change are more than the disadvantages of this change, okay? So why is that important? Because you didn't address that. You simply said that you agree that many offices are doing this, but that's not what we're concerned about. We're concerned with if this change has advantages, more advantages or if it has more disadvantages, okay? So in terms of content, um, it's not entirely relevant. It's not entirely uh, focusing on what it needs to focus on. That's one thing. The second thing is that there are a lot of grammatical errors in this paragraph. It's a short paragraph, but still um, it does have uh, errors and those errors are um, important enough to, to mention, basically. So let's take a look at it again. Experts throughout both the developing and developed world have debated. No, they're not debating whether this is happening. That's actually not the case. So, um, have dis. Let's see. Have. Uh, let's see how we can change this a little bit so that it makes sense. And I don't want to change too much of your writing. I only want to change what's really kind of important to change, okay? So let's say experts throughout both the developing and developed world have uh, reported that many offices um, are now using emails and online meetings instead of person in person meetings. And that this, um, I don't know what you think, uh, that this has advantages or and this has many advantages or I'm assuming you're talking about advantages. Let's try this. Experts throughout the both the developing and developed world have reported on the advantages of many offices um, now using uh, digital communication rather than in-person meetings. I strongly agree with this um, statement or with this position. And in this essay, I will discuss both. And okay, and this essay will discuss both sides using examples from the UK government and Oxford University to demonstrate points with an S and prove arguments with an S again. Okay, so that would have worked a little better. Let's move on. There is ample evidence that supports the idea of technology use in many office premises. The central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, due to the advent of the modern era of globalization, many enterprises have adopted the fastest, comma, of most effective way of communications. Generally, they create business groups to broadcast important alerts to their employees without wasting time, and all are in better ease. Mm, I don't really love that expression. What does that mean, they are in better ease? It's not particularly natural. So let's change it to something that feels um, a little more natural, maybe something like, and this um, adds great convenience to all. You could have said that. And then you could have explained to us why it adds convenience, okay, because people don't have to leave their offices to have a meeting. They don't have to waste time. They can, um, you know, maybe multitask at their office. I mean, there are a lot of things you could have said as a benefit of this. Secondly, each correspondence via email, not correspondence emails, uh, each 
correspond or let's try it a little differently each email is kept in records that will help each individual to that doesn't make sense to resist on the same page i don't understand that at all uh for example recent empirical research by the uk government demonstrated that 92 percent of growing product and services industries are preferring to use electronic communication with their staff singular therefore it is clear that many offices are using online modes of trans of communication at their workplaces okay again it's not whether they are or they aren't the fact that they are is a given what you have to d describe is if the advantages outweigh the disadvantages okay so it's not entirely on topic um let's see i didn't understand this so you lost coherence here in this statement and uh due to the advent uh, okay right so you mentioned this thing about better ease again that was a little confusing i would have liked you to explain it a little bit like what you meant so what you're really trying to tell us is that this type of, of communication allows for greater efficiency and greater convenience and that's what you needed to focus on why does it do that why does it provide better convenience why does it provide uh better efficiency and you said something about the you have like basically a, a record of the emails so how is this beneficial so explain to us this advantage and that this advantage would have been lost if communication happened in person uh just orally okay so these are the things that you need to be focusing on in this paragraph all right now you've got a lot of commas here i don't know why so get rid of all of them get rid of this and get rid of this and let hold on although there is a case for social emotions and in-person gathering enriching society all right now we have to completely change this sentence for a lot of reasons first of all you're using although incorrectly um and you cannot use although and but in the same sentence you have to just pick one or the other um the other thing that you have to remember is that typically what we do in this sentence when you use this kind of construction is we refer to something, some sort of main idea that we talked about in our previous paragraph, we rephrase it, and then we use this although. So let me give you an example of how you could have done that. So although there is a case for the uh, greater convenience um, of online communication in the workplace, the impact of uh, in-person meetings cannot be overstated, okay? And then here, presumably, you're going to talk about why you think that in-person meetings are better, okay? Or why this, uh, why this, to, uh, in the disadvantages of, of uh, online communication. Let me see what it asks you for again. Okay, yeah, the disadvantages of the fact that this is now more common than face-to-face -face meetings. So you don't want to talk about the advantage of face-to-face -face meetings, but you want to talk about the disadvantage of this becoming so uh, commonplace nowadays, okay? So the negative impact, wait, let me try that again. The negative impact of online meetings uh, cannot be overstated. This is largely because of the better time management. For example, an extensive study by Oxford University shows that 48% of working employees, now that doesn't make sense, just say employees, do not know much about their office colleagues. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt that the largest disadvantage of such technology is the prominent decrease of personal relations. Okay, I think you had some, I think you had an interesting idea here. Unfortunately, this idea is really underdeveloped. There was a lot more to say about it. You did not take advantage of that. So I absolutely would have wanted to see more about this. So first of all, this sentence was problematic. I showed you how you could fix it, but this doesn't make sense. It's not an issue of better time management. That, that's not the right word here. What you really are trying to tell us is that this is because uh, online communication does not allow uh, colleagues to develop relationships and socialize in order to get to know one another. And then you could have said, for example, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so, and then you could have maybe said something else. You could have said, um, 
maybe another type of proof. Um, you know, colleagues are known for uh, clicking leave meeting at the end of an online meeting and then having no additional communication with their colleagues, whereas with online meetings, people sit around, people chat, and, and so forth. So this sort of um, socialization and building of relationships is lost. So that's what you should have done here. Because another thing that I want you to take a look at is the length of your paragraphs. This is at least like two or three lines longer. So that should be your clue that you probably had more to say about this. All right, let's look at this now. For the, no, from the arguments, plural, and examples given, comma, I firmly believe that the advantages of online technologies are invaluable for a company and its employees, because it's one company here. It is predicted that new updated D versions of the different channels will rapidly, no, not rapidly and increasingly, so will increasingly help stimulate growth of companies in the future. Okay, so you definitely have to make some changes here. Now, um, I really wanted to see more accuracy with your grammar here in this conclusion. It's the last thing your examiner is going to read. And so you really want to finish with a very strong, very solid uh, ending. So I want you to be a little more cautious with the grammar in this conclusion. Okay? All right, so let's move on. Take a look at the letter for the full-time job. Let's see what you said. Dear Mr. Smith, I am writing regarding the full-time position which was posted in the advertisement on the notice board. I want to apply for the post because of the better prospects with the company. Currently, I am working on a part-time basis for the last two years and have enough relevant experience in the same field. All right, so this is good. I like this. I thought you did a good job with it. There are just a couple of minor changes I want to make here. First of all, it's a semi-formal letter. So rather than saying, I want to apply, you should have said, I would like to apply, or I am interested in applying. All right. And then the second thing, you said for the last two years. So it's not, I am working. It's, uh, I have been working. All right. So you just needed a different tense here. So I have been working on a part-time basis for the last two years. All right. So that's that. If I get a chance to avail this position, I don't really care for that expression, then it will help me a lot to make my dreams, my dream come true. It will help to make my dream come true. Okay. As you know, I did not, I really would have preferred this with um, fully written out rather than contracted form. As you know, I did not get an opportunity to explore my wings. I don't know what that means because of the time restrictions. I have many plans that I want to implement for the enhancement of the effective flow and their outputs. All right, I'm not entirely sure what this paragraph is about. It's a little vague. You talked about your wings. I don't know. I'm assuming you mean metaphorically, but it still seems a little strange to me. And I also don't understand this time restrictions. Do you mean because you're there part-time? I mean, you could have just explained yourself a little more clearly here. Uh, for, and I didn't really care for this, for the effective flow and their outputs. It just feels a little unnatural. So we would have liked to have seen this phrase a little differently. Um, so just something like I have many plans that I, um, am hoping to implement for the enhancement of, uh, the workflow in our office. So as you know, I did my post graduation. No, I did my post graduate studies in online marketing and with marketing and with the part-time experience in the same profile. Mm, no. And with the part-time experience in this field, the company does not need to spend time on training and other orientation programs. Aside from this, with my vast experience, I am directly involved with a D uh, in the project that will save a lot of precious money, uh, will save a lot of precious time of the company, which is also the motto time is money. All right, I don't understand what happened here. Let me try that one more time. Aside from this, with my vast experience, I 
am directly involved with or in the project that will save. I don't understand this. I don't understand this. What are you trying to tell us that you're involved in a project uh, which saves the company time and it's just very strangely written and then time is money this was very confusing to me i'm looking forward to you granting me permission to apply for the cited without that uh i position kind regards this should be a lowercase r all right gajinder so um, you've got the right general idea, but there are a lot of mistakes in your grammar and in your vocabulary that I really want you to work on. Um, I want you to focus on improving accuracy here, okay? Um, because it's, it's a shame if, if mistakes like these hold you back. Your development is, is for the most part good, but unfortunately, the grammar makes some of this incoherent, and I'm just not clear about what you're talking about some of the time. So, um, I'd like to see you correct these essays, really focus on improving the accuracy of your grammar and lexical resources, and let's see more work from you, okay? Good luck.